one of my favorite questions to ask, you know, you're a golfer, you get paid to go travel around Europe, travel around the world to play golf. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite place to go play golf at? Like, what's your favorite course? Uh, actually, my favorite course is in England, so in Scotland, actually. It's uh, St. Andrews, okay. so St. Andrews is the, one of the most famous golf club in the world. Mm -hmm. And But, you know, I don't like to play in uh, rainy weather. So in Scotland, you can find it really rainy, windy. So um, I prefer to be like 30 degrees, like Dubai, 30, 35 degrees, a bit more warmer. Yeah, but yeah. St. Andrews is one of the best courses I ever played and one of my pref preferred course, actually. It's actually, it's almost impossible to find a weekend over there in England where it's like the perfect weather. It's either going to be windy, going to be rainy. Yeah. It's like find, trying to find a needle in a haystack. It's yeah, like you, you can have four seasons in one day, actually. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it can be winter in the morning and then it can be a bit summer in the, in the afternoon, so like spring in the night. Like last week we played in, in Birmingham. It was like freezing cold for me. It was like 10 to 12 degrees. And the previous it's, week we, we played in Tenerife and it was like 30 degrees. So we went to England, it was 10 degrees, 12 degrees. So I said, oh, guys, it's too cold for me. <laughs> Do you ever, I, I know I, when I played baseball, I remember when I'd swing a bat, like my hands would go numb from hitting the ball. Do you ever get that in golf? Like it is too cold yes. to go for the ball and like you get a little stinger? Oh, yeah. that's got to suck. Yeah. yeah, it's not the best for golf. Yeah, so yeah, I, I prefer when my, when I, if I normally like, in the golf, if you hit a bad shot, when it's cold, you can feel it in your hands. It's like looks like your hands is broken. So yeah. that one it can happen sometimes when it's very cold, but when it's hot, it's not it's not gonna happen. So this is what I prefer actually. I was gonna say I I mean I would say I've done it when I played golf, but I only play golf when it's nice out. I don't do it for a yeah. living. So <laughs> I, I get what you're saying for. So yeah. and so you used to tell me your favorite course. What's a course that's like a bucket list? Like I gotta go play there at least once in my lifetime. Uh for sure. There's like a few courses in America, like Augusta where they play the master and Pebble Beach, obviously. And I would like to play one course in Europe this year. It's the Golf Le National in France. So where they played the Ryder Cup a few years ago. And we're supposed to play a golf tournament, but they the they canceled the tournament for COVID just a few yeah. weeks ago. So that one was is one of the one of the places where, where I want to be. And yeah, for sure I, I would like to come in America soon to play some golf there and Augusta and Pebble Beach. TP6 so gross. Okay. So that's a lot of options over here. Yeah. A lot of yeah. options. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty. So when you're golfing, and obviously you're so you're doing it professionally. So for you, what's kind of more of a pressure filled moment? Is it the first drive of the tournament? You're like, I gotta get this thing right? Or is it like day two, three, or four, like when you're in contention, you're like, oh shit, this is real. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's looking, everyone's watching. Yeah, I was like the first shot is, is always the is always the toughest shot actually because you know it's the first shot of the tournament and most of yeah. the time it's like a lot of crowd look at you and you don't want to a bad shot you don't want to start bad the tournament so you know after the first shot everything goes like normal but sometimes you can feel the pressure when you are in contention for the big tournament and obviously if you're playing too good you don't want to hit some bad shot to score bad, but uh, I would say the first shot is the most toughest shot for me. So I know in the European Tour too, I've noticed a lot of the scores are significantly lower than they are over here yeah. in the States. For you, what's like the lowest score you've ever had? Uh, for me, it was last year, no, two years ago, I shot 10 under one day. So the lowest score in four round, um, I think so it was minus 20. Minus 20 something. I don't know. I really don't know. But that's absurd. For, yeah. <laughs> for one round, uh, last year I shot minus 10. And a few weeks ago I shot minus 9. So I missed the last part on 18 for minus 10. But yeah, minus 10 is my lowest round. So it sounds like it's progressing. You're still progressing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll get into that a little bit later. So, yeah. and then another question I kind of ask is let's say it's day four. You're already you're out of contention, but you're you're putting like on hole 18. Yeah. If you miss this putt, you drop from let's say like 30 second to like 40 second or whatever. Are you thinking in your head like, oh shit, dude, this putt is worth so much money? Uh, no, not really. So I'm never not thinking really. about the money. So um, after the after the tournament, yes, 
you know, after dinner and then going back to my room and say, oh, shit, yeah, I missed that part there, missed that part there. And then it's a lot of money. But when we are on the tournament, so it's happened to me when I'm, I'm playing the tournament, I'm not thinking about the money. And just thinking about if I eat a bad shot and say, oh, shit, I eat a bad shot. So why why you eat this bad shot? But yeah, the good things, it's, it's not easy to don't think about the money. But for me, it's not happened. Some guys, they think like, oh, shit, I missed that part. It cost me 10,000 euro. But if I still, if I'm starting to think also about the money, I'm going to play so bad. So it's better right now if I don't think about it. Because then you're focusing on the money and you're yeah. focusing also on like the play yeah. itself. And then it gets so far in your head, yeah. you don't even know where to start. Yeah, I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, the golf is already it's tough. So if I'm starting to fo- focus also on the money, it's becoming more tougher. <laughs> I think, yeah. And so kind of going on that. So you started golf when you were 13 years old. And before yeah. that, you're actually really good at tennis. What kind mm-hmm. of made you make that transition from tennis into golf? Uh, yeah, I played tennis for six years and before play golf and actually uh, between golf and tennis i played also volleyball because in italy volleyball is like very famous uh, but mm-hmm. i played only for a couple of years in the meantime i'm starting with golf but uh actually i was tired to play tennis at that time i was i was young i was 12 13 years old and all of my friends were playing football and mm-hmm. my my dream was to to be a football player but then one day my dad he says, "Yeah, you want to try golf?" I say, "Okay, I try." And then after that, boom, I'm love it, love it, just love it. And after that, I starting to play golf every day. It's like, it's like, it's like a drug, you know. Golf is like mm-hmm. for me. It's like, oh, f- I want to play golf. I want to play golf. And then mm-hmm. I was so young, and in my golf course there were like five, six other guys, and I was the youngest. I was the shortest when I was hitting the driver. And for me, it was nice to compete with the oldest guys. And after that, after a few years, I was the only one to play to play golf. All the other guys I went like to study. So um, yeah, that was my um, my first dream was to to be a football player. But then I hit the first ball and driving range. I said, okay, this is going to be my sport. <laughs> I'll take I'll take this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you um? And so, kind of speaking about that, when did you kind of realize when you started golf, like, oh shit, like I'm really good at this. Like yeah. I might be able to go pro in this. Like when did that kind of start to pop in your head? Uh, actually, after I moved to South Africa for one year, maybe mm-hmm. you can see it. My accent is a bit South African, and I moved there for golf. Obviously, and I left school in Italy and I moved there with my dad and my mother, and. I started to having some golf lesson in South Africa and the golf in South Africa is very big. Mm-hmm. And after that, I say, oh, I can be a good player. I can try to turn pro in a, in a few years. And then after that, in a few years, I turned pro. I turned pro in South Africa and I played my first three years, three years, my pro golf career in South Africa. And then I moved to Europe and I said, okay, I can play also in Europe. I can be competitive also in Europe. And this is what is happened now. I can be competitive here. And it's pretty good. I was going to say, I feel like golf's also one of those sports where if you've never played before, you're thinking to yourself, dude, I can go out there and play golf. I can hit that. Like, that's easy. Like, you just go swing a golf club at a ball. Yeah. I feel like that's a sport everyone in the world thinks, oh, I could be pro at that. That's Looks not that easy. hard, is it? Yeah. <laughs> and then when you swing a club for the yeah. first time, your ball just shanks to the right. Yeah. <laughs> it splices or whatever. You're just like, ah, oh, well, yeah, I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks very easy. This is what the, all my friend told me. Ah, no, it's not going to be difficult to hit the ball and put it in the hole. So, okay, try it. <laughs> and everyone tries it. Say, no, this is too difficult for me. I'm not going to play. Yeah, golf is a is an art sport. It's not, it's it's, not it's for me. It's the, one of the hardest sport in the world. It's very like it's very technique. So every day your technique you can change, and it's mm-hmm. not easy to control it. And so kind of speaking of your friends wanting to play golf, do you still like, well, so obviously you play professionally. Do you still ever like play casually? Just like, you know, just drink a bunch of beer, wine or whatever, and just hang out with the boys? And always, shoot always, shit? always when I'm back home. Yeah. <laughs> the first things I do after the tournament, I call my friend, guys, I'm coming back home when we play. <laughs> so like, yeah, always. Uh, that was the funniest part of the, of my training actually. So um, before before I'm, I'm training and after that I can I play some golf with my friends and you know it's always good to to just play for fun and not play very focused because 
if you play sometimes for fun, it's like you, you enjoyed more your sport. And so like the whole thing, like when you go back and play with your friends, it's just yeah. like you, you remember like how much fun it was growing up. Let's say you're having like a time where you're like, dude, this sucks. Like, yeah, yeah. Hate this. I don't want to go out there. You play with your friends again. You're like, dude, no, we, yeah, we play just for fun. Actually, we like, we don't like to, to bet like some money, especially when I'm playing with my friend. <laughs> But we, we play oh, for fun. Play. We, we play we play for like ah oh, I beat you you know just for we send a message and we do some videos yeah it's pretty it's quite funny and the only thing is to enjoy the day and doesn't matter if you play bad or good. Like what you just saw, want to check out the rest of the interview? Make sure you check out the description box below where you'll find access to all my other interviews along with all of Living Fit's world class programs and trainers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.